a couple more sneak peeks. So as you know, or may not know, I've been following the Mudita Compact and their sneak peeks for the past couple months. Last week, they let out another sneak peek with two new details regarding the Mudita Compact. Now, the first piece of information is that it will come with a fingerprint reader. So this will go over the power button and this will allow you to quickly unlock your device and of course promote more security. You won't have to remember a pin or a password to unlock your device quickly. Most of us have a fingerprint reader on our smartphones and a lot of devices are coming out with this feature on their phones, such as the minimal phone. So I think this is an excellent feature that they've added. We don't know if it will be able to be integrated with other applications because we don't have the complete list of apps, of course, or if we'll be able to sideload certain apps such as banking apps. But I think having a fingerprint reader is an awesome addition to the device and is something that people will want and something that makes sense for a device that's promoting security and of course, data privacy. Speaking of data privacy, they're also promoting their operating system, which is Mudita OS K. Now they're saying that they are not harvesting your data and they're not monetizing your data. So this is really important for a lot of minimal phone users or a lot of people who just don't want to sell their data for free. So as somebody who loves BlackBerry for this reason and in general, it just makes me kind of sick that companies are making money off of our data and our personal information without our consent or without reimbursing us for some of that data. For sure, I wouldn't mind agreeing to terms if I was getting some kickbacks from it as well. But as you know, we don't get any money for our data being sold. And I think the fact that Mudita is promoting this as a data privacy device, as well as a minimalist device, is something that could reach a lot of people and means a lot for a lot of people. Now again, I'm not really sure what this operating system is based on or if it's purely their own operating system. Again, it's called Mudita OSK. I haven't used the Mudita Pure, so I can't answer if it's any similar or not. I'm guessing it's completely new, obviously, because this is a touchscreen device and I'm sure to integrate the hardware and the software together, they had to completely rethink their operating system. What do you think about these sneak peeks? I'm still waiting for the Kickstarter to launch on this specific device, so I'm really curious to see what else will be coming out, when the Kickstarter will actually be launched. I'm guessing the end of September, maybe the beginning of October, so we'll definitely be keeping our eyes out on that. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.